Nano Brown Boxing, and I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So I dropped the, um, well, I recorded the video this morning. I haven't posted yet. So this video right here is going to follow that video. I'm going to get it all up. I should be having everything up by Monday night. So tonight. Uh, but first thing first, man. Shout out to um, shout out to 78 Sports TV, the big homie over there. One of my favorite YouTube channels out. And I just watched this video talking about boycott, boycott and Keith Thurman. And you know what? Well, boycott and Keith Thurman until he takes the Earl Spence fight, or until he um, until he uh, like announces a date. And I agree with that 100%. It's crazy because I believe in my pre one of my previous videos. I definitely said that Keith Thurman should take the Andre War route. He should, you know, talk to Al Heyman, talk to Earl Spence, and line up his next three fights. Um, you know, with, thir with Earl Spence being either the second fight or the third fight or whatever, whatever type of contract that Thurman needs to work out with Al Heyman, he can include Sean Porter and Danny Garcia in it as well. If Thurman wants to take on one of those guys before he fights Earl Spence, we just need it in writing. And I say that because, I'm, for me, I'm taking it a step further than 78 because 78 said he cool with just hearing him say it like for example January 2019 then he won't boycott me no I need more than that you know Thurman is prone to being injured and having these injuries and putting them on the long layoff I need it in writing even though okay I understand that an injury can't uh the injury well the, the written contract can't stop an injury but injury or not he'll be, still be contractually obligated to face Earl Spence so we won't be waiting to 2021 for them to get in the ring so I say boycott Keith Thurman I'm on board with boycotting Keith Thurman until the fight is either announced or a contract has been written and Earl Spence he uh he pretty much you know he puts it out there that what Keith Thurman is saying is true He'll until until Earl Spence confirms it. So Earl Spence will have to come out and say, yes, what Keith Thurman is saying is true. Keith Thurman is going to face this opponent, this opponent, that opponent, and then fight me. And Earl Spence will say, I'm going to face this opponent, that opponent, and I'll fight Keith Thurman. From that point on, no more boycotting Keith Thurman fights. We know he's serious. We know he's back to his one time. We know he's not trying to just fight one time a year. He'd be off his old duck time shit, his sometime shit just completely eliminate all of the BS and get the fans what they want to see. I'm tired of Keith Thurman trying to milk the fans and make us wait like we're the consumer. Give us what we want. We're not calling for a Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia rematch. We're not calling for a Keith Thurman, Sean Porter rematch. We're not calling for any of that. And none of those fights even had a rematch clause. So Thurman, he's not even contractually obligated to face those guys. So the crazy part about it is why not unify? Like, he keeps ducking around the whole unif unification topic. You know, he, he talked about Floyd in the past, and Floyd was ducking, and he didn't want to fight the guys. But the thing about that, Keith, I'm not going to call you one time. I'm not going to call you Thurman. The thing about that, Keith, is when Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, when he was ducking and dodging, was he wrong? Absolutely. Do I support what he did when he was ducking you? Absolutely not. But there's one key difference. At that point... Floyd Mayweather was what in his mid to late thirties. Like Keith, you're in your you're not even you're in your late thirties. But you like twenty nine. You like a year older than me. You're still in your prime. You know, ten years from now, talk that talk. Seven years from now, talk that talk. But right now, it's not the time. Floyd Mayweather was kicking ass and taking names, even though he was taking retirements and whatever. He was still fighting top guys. He wasn't doing that money way Mayweather shit to its fullest effect until he started getting up there in age. And besides, Keith, you know, look at the cop, look at the pot calling the kettle black. It's, I thought you wanted to do better than what Mayweather did. I thought you wanted to carry yourself in a different way than Floyd Mayweather. Like, let's stop all the bullshit. If you're not, if you're not really willing to face Earl Spence, if you don't want those challenges, if boxing is not really your main focus right now and you don't have a passion for it, you need to retire. 
vacate your belts and retire. It's simple as that. Because you're not going to get some fight with Pacquiao. We know you're not going to move up to 154. You can't make 140. So what you going to do? Keep re, uh, rematching Danny Garcia, uh, Danny Garcia and um, Sean Porter? Because you know that boy turns Bud Crawford. He coming for you too. He coming for your neck. So just come on, Keith. Come on. Do your fans a favor and give us what we want. If not, just be honest with us. Tell us the truth. Tell us that you don't want no no smoke, no wreck, nothing. You don't want nothing with Earl Spence Jr. Uh, he's on a different level. Vacate your belts and put the pressure and let the pressure be on uh, Danny Garcia and Sean Porter. And that's just what it is. Um, until then, I will be one of the people joining that Nino Brown boxing will be boycotting all Keith one-time Thurman fights until he gets in the ring with Earl Spence or a contract is signed and Earl Spence confirms it until then no Keith Thurman fights on this channel this and oh yeah and the only way I'm ever talking about Keith Thurman from this point on is unless it's um a situation wondering when is Keith Thurman gonna fight Earl Spence so basically that video will be a uh, a, a video surrounding Earl Spencer when he get his opportunity to unify the IB, I mean the WBC and the WBA title. But until next time, guys, this is Nino Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Peace.